क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव सीन वॉट इज एब्सट्रैक्शन ऑल अबाउट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट फीचर और मेजर पिलर ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट अ एनकैप्सुलेशन so the name itself says something called as capsule right now what do you mean by capsule basically if i'm having a medicine let's uh, let's take a example of a medicine a medicine comes in different format forms like i can have a powdered medicine i can have a capsule medicine right now uh, which particular type of a medicine you will like to take okay that is i would say i will go for capsule okay now why capsule i can say that if i take it i i don't get any better test right i can easily swallow it right at the same time there are uh, why it is provided into to the capsule it may possible that this particular capsule is having some elements which is uh, which to be protected from sunlight or air right so basically the motto uh, to provide a capsule is providing a secure uh what i can say uh, keep that particular medicine secure from external environment and second thing easiness to swallow it right so basically same thing is applicable in case of uh, uh, encapsulation what is encapsulation is it's a hiding uh, i can say complexity of a particular object okay by providing some user friendly interface okay so hiding those complexities those details is actually giving me security okay as well as it allows me to use that particular object easily so basically motto of encapsulation is provide a security and easiness for user okay so let's take an example uh So let's take an example of a fan. Okay, now uh, just imagine I'm having a fan, and if I want to on that particular fan, I need to do some combinations. I'm having a wires, and I need to uh, do some combinations of a wire to start the fan. Similar way, if I want to stop it, I need to do some different combinations. If I want to increase the speed of a fan, I need to do some different combinations. Okay, so. we are having fan of a different uh, fans of a different companies okay like uh, we are having uh, crownton then usha and so on and each company may provide a different way of starting the fan stopping the fan increasing the fan speed right so as a user will it be possible me to learn each and every combination for each and every type of a fan it's not possible for me right it's not easy i have to learn it correct so better way uh, what they have given they have given me a switch and in switch they have given me a buttons i whenever i need to start the fan i just have to plug in if i want to stop it i have to a uh, plug out right uh, uh, sorry i have to just press the button okay if i want to increase the speed i just have to uh, use the regulator uh, regulator i can increase the speed i can decrease the speed okay it is easier for me right i don't have to learn anything okay as well as so that is nothing but what it is a easiness for me to uh, operate on that particular object so anyone from any any company can able to use that particular fan it can able to oh, um, on it it can able to stop it it can able to increase the speed correct now second thing is as i told you if i want to uh, if i want a com- some combinations to be applied if i want to on the fan or off the fan then it may possible that i can uh, i may do some wrong combination which may result some into the something else okay disaster i would say so is this particular thing is secure no so in order to prevent that 
it has given me a switches so basically easiness and the security it's a main motto behind the encapsulation so let's see what is encapsulation is all about uh, it is a hiding complexity data and internal details from the external user the one who is using it then object inter, uh, interaction through an interface it provides some easy interf interface like a switch so that user can interact with that switch and switch can internally interact with the, all the complexity which is there so user don't have to worry about what is there inside that particular uh, object what combination needs to be done and so on then any change into the internal implementation does not affect the user that means um, as time goes definitely the technology changes the way of operating the uh, fan internally in uh, in background may change so does does that thing need to be learned to the user no i don't have to learn as a user it being it will be done automatically uh, inside the bag uh, inside the uh, that particular fan i don't have to deal with it okay so that are the uh, points uh, which is there hiding the complexity providing the uh, providing the good interface in order to achieve the easiness and the security that what encapsulation is all about thank you